firstly bent just because the fastest lap. We'll need to do it without taking any damage. Oh, round Melbourne, that's going to be a bit dodgy. Uh, right, let's jump in, have a look. Three laps, that's not going to take much out of the um, car. So I'm not going to use um, Eric for that. I think this might be a bit of a beast around Melbourne. Uh, don't need to win, obviously. Uh, no damage. So I would expect that they would. Uh, I mean, around Melbourne, most people seem to do around about 50 seconds. Between 50 and a minute seems to be the most common lap time around here to me. So I'm just going to give them a, I'll have a little, let's have a little mosey round. That's what we could do, we could warm our tyres up I suppose. The trouble is, is that there's normally a big smash here, isn't there, on the first uh, lap. So if that has happened, then they're going to be not that far ahead. So I would expect the one who is in front, right, so that's just come up, that means he's finished the first lap. lap I'm going to go for will be the second lap. I don't think it's going to be a particularly good lap anyway, to be fair. Normally we need about 10 seconds. Let's see if we can chuck it round these corners without smashing it up. difficult when you've not driven it around the circuit yet. So their best lap, lap time there was 55 seconds it just popped up. That is one good thing about letting them go first. You can see what sort of lap time you need. I'm not going to go full out for it here anyway because I don't think I'm going to need to. Good job really, I'll have smashed it to smear Berenge by now. Right, so around about 50 we'll do it. Five seconds clear, they're not going to catch me on that, so I'm just going to have a little, again a little mosey round for the last lap. beat five seconds off of that anyway so I'm not even going to pay too much attention to that. There's bigger fish to fry yet. Hopefully it wouldn't have taken too much of my um, service out by creeping around her like an old granny. Uh, 